Yeah, Bree, we are back. Okay. Sorry about that stupid. Initializing remote app. Yeah. Okay. Since the CD drive. Did you hit F12 to boot off the DVD? I haven't even put the DVD in yet. Now I wonder though, was there something you was there something you wanted to look on the RAID controller? I think there was. I think you had a hit. What is on this? You know. Windows Server 2008 R2. I don't care about anything that's on it. I really don't. Right, well, I'm going into. Didn't you want to do something with the RAID or the BIOS or something? Yeah, I want to. You did you you did software RAID in Windows, right? Uh no, no it's an it nope it's an S100, it's a perk S100, raid card you can see it in there. Uh oh. Yeah it's a perk S100 card. And then we'll have to go over um, uh, cards in this model and maybe I won't break the darn thing off there. Recording. What is this? That's Windows Server 2012. Or I mean, sorry, Windows Server 2008 R2 12. What the hell? It's not. That is 2008 R2. Look no, at it. No, it's not. What is it then? I have no clue. But that I know that's because 2008 doesn't have USC. It's Foundation Edition. What, USC? What are you talking about? A unified server config. Oh. That's a Dell thing. Wait, where are you? I'm confused. I don't know how I got there. Oh. I think that was the system services thing. Oh, that yeah. You can really go and look at. Oh, yeah. What uh, what model rate card did you say? It's a a, a Perk S one hundred. Yeah, S one hundred. Yeah, it's S one hundred. Oh shoot! I'm ID gonna... rack six config what? The. There no there there is no DRAC in this model. It doesn't even support it as far as I know. Entering system services to cancel enter iDRAC six configuration utility. We don't want to do that. We just want to boot off I think we just want to boot off DVD ROM, right? Because the RAID, I can always rebuild it through OMSA, so it's not that big of a deal because I'm gonna install OMSA on here. I can always rebuild it through OMSA, so I'm not really Worried about it. LSI Corp config utility? You don't know what all these are, do you? I don't even, I don't know either. I have no clue anymore. Escape, exit menu. I suppose I'm going to have to ask Dell because I don't know. Well, I just exited the config utility. Well, I guess the reason why I don't know a lot of them is because I've never had somebody actually sit down and, you know, go through the options because that's very boring, you know, for some people. So I don't ask them to do it just for the heck of it. Maybe, like, some other time where we're not... To cancel... I, 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 how the frig do I get out of that? Because now I, it, I, it just keeps going back into it. <sighs> Hit escape. Uh, it, no, escape doesn't do anything. It, it it tells me every time I reboot entering system services to cancel enter iDRAC. What the hell an iDRAC is? Yeah, it means integrated Dell remote access card, is what iDRAC stands for. Which this computer does not have one, so I don't even know why it's doing this. Uh, what happens if you cold restart it? That's what I've been doing. Really? Okay, try to enter the iDRAC thing, see if you can get in there. I have no clue how to do that, or 
it's the same initializing remote access controller. Yeah, it'll it'll come out in a bit. Uh, hit F or no, hit F11. It's not F12 on here. It's F11. Actually. For what? To get into the boot manager. Uh, no, I can't get that option because it's telling me to exit the iDRAC. Okay. Does it tell you how? No, not at all. All right. Try like try your left and right arrows. It might be that. Control S to configure device MAC address. So I can configure the. That's good that I can configure the network card. Well, we don't need to because we don't have any network stuff down here yet. It's supposed to be sarcasm. Anyway, it was, uh, if we're trying to get an IP address, we would do one six nine dot whatever the um, automatic in, in, internet protocol addressing protocol thingy. Oh, I think it's I, I think I think it's um I think it's automatic private IP address is what that stands for. Now, what happens if I... Don't touch anything. Well, setting Plus your... Plus control E to remote access setup within... Seriously, I think I need to update this BIOS is what I need to do. Dell initializing UEFI. It's already using UEFI, can't Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, that's that's Hesius I'm thinking of because Hesius can do UEFI but I don't I don't have him on UEFI. Entering. Oh, is it sees the it sees the DVD ROM and it want it wants an it wants SBU, I think. It wants what? It wants the server build and update utility is what I think it wants. Because um which, of course, the version of that that I have doesn't support Windows Server 2012. I have to, like, update it, because they're not really... Dell's not good with updating. Well, this is kind of, you know, an older model, and they're more concerned about, you know, the, the, the larger ones, like the ones that have the lifecycle controller, which this one doesn't have, obviously, because it's... Lifecycle control? Yeah. That's one for the... That's for the larger... The bigger Dell... Power Edge servers. Um, you know what? Maybe we should. Uh, hold on, what time is it? Alright, screw uh, it. I'm calling for pizza. Yeah, go for it. And then we can. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to, now that I can get into Windows, hello, there's one, two, three, four, five accounts. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's SQL Services, there's Stacy Strobel, Ashley, and an admin. Oh my god, like I actually remember the password to get in here. Um, Fire away? Yeah, like I actually think I do remember it, I don't know that I do. Oh my god, if I can't get into the power edge, that's going to be bad. Okay, so am I on the admin? Yes. Oh, hi, camera. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I remember it. First she said she remembers it, and then she said she thinks she remembers it. Come on. Wrong path. I'm kidding. Oh, hold on. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I capitalized it. I should know. Excellent. Yeah, I just ca I capitalized something I shouldn't have. So is the monitor or the camera like facing the, the monitor kind of thing? It's kind of looking over my shoulder. Yeah. Ah, so you can see the monitor. Cool. You have a system. You don't have a system access license to run system. Yeah, screw that. I messed it up. I, I unregistered that computer. That's why it says that. I know. It's like you don't have a system access license to run system access. Well. You could have just said I don't have a license. You don't have to tell me I can't run it because I don't have a license. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So you're gonna try to, you're gonna run it from within Windows instead of booting off the. 
Well, it, I'm going to try that now. I wasn't thinking of doing that because I was thinking it was going into the... Uh, but we have to fix that, though, because now it's stuck on the whole system services thing. No, it's not. It booted into Windows. Well, it booted into Windows, but for whatever reason, the F11 for the boot manager isn't working. We'll see what happens on next reboot. All right, install now. Speaking of next reboot, here we go. Go water pizza. All right. Um, Setup is copying temporary files. All right, hold on. I'll be back. I'm going to get the... I'm just going to do this via the... Uh, we'll return. Right after one. this. Alright. Uh, stop the tape until I get back. I can't right now because well, not we right now. IIS on it. Well, yeah, because it's gonna do... I mean, it's mainly gonna be our, you know... Oh, I need key. Oh, hold on. That's in my, um, key pass database, so... I have to get that. Folks, we have to deal with the product key. We'll be right back. <laughs> he just downloaded the ASMR. All right, oh. here we go. Let's install this. Okay, we're back. We're installing Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center on the Dell PowerEdge T110, a.k.a. Delmeyer II. I need to make a video that goes over all the names of my computers. Um, server we'll install installer server with the GUI. We need server with the GUI. Yeah. All can, well, oh, wait, crap. I can't do core because you can't do core because it's going to be running WSE, so... So, custom install only. Yeah. By the way, if you want to take those externals with you, that's fine. If you want to take them, just don't lose all the data off them, because I need to get some of the data off there. Wait. What do you mean, take them with me? You said you wanted to take the cases apart and get the drives out of them. Oh no, we can do that another time. I come over. Oh okay. All right. So. Because you can come over any time, so. It's cool. <laughs> Seeing as how I'm, I'm assuming it's safe to just nuke everything on here. It's fine. I don't give a dang. I don't have anything on there I care about. Just like the dimension. The file that I was looking for on the dimension is gone. It's not there at all. Alright, did we lock the dog upstairs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you do that intentionally? Uh-huh. Yeah, because he'd probably be knocking over the tripod and all this stuff, so... If the partition you've chosen contains files from a previous window install... Oh, remember, remember to do advanced partitions, because I want to, because I want to make the part... I want to do something kooky with the partitioning scheme. I want to give only 20 to 30 gigabytes for the... or, like, maybe, like, 40 gigabytes for the operating system, and give the rest of it to data and applications. We can tweak that after. Oh, well, I can do that, I suppose, because once we get a screen reader on this thing, I'll be good. All right. So what's happening? The install's running. Oh. Yay. Cool. So we're running um, Data Center. That's awesome. So we have Data Center, um, Windows Server 2012, R2. And essentially what we're going to be doing is, um, you'll see this in upcoming videos, I'm going to set up... Um, um, the Windows Server Essentials Experience, and then we're going to have backup domain controllers elsewhere, um, you know, on virtual machines. I'll, I'll show you all of this on video in the future. And so this is going to be the, um, um, anyway, what was I saying? Sorry. Oh, right. I was telling these guys about what we're doing with this. So, um, while, uh, PJ over here is you know, more into single server, single use. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't particularly agree with that. And considering I'm going to be upgrading the RAM on this thing, I, th I think I can make this guy do a little bit more than that. So we're going to have basically Active Directory. This is going to be our, um, you know, media streaming server for, you know, internal use. We're going to have, I'm going to basically consolidate all, you know, all our stuff on here so we can, uh, you know, we can get stuff. And then, um, and then we'll also be running the website and then the, uh, on this on this one and the dimension over there if I can get it going or the Dell Precision 670 in Cambridge either way will be running um, will be acting as another domain controller and will also be running uh, link as well so well link most of link and then um, in uh, Orlando thanks to um, user uh, Michael K. Spears. I'm not sure 
what his actual name is, but I'll find his channel and I'll put it in the description for you. Uh, thanks to him, we are going to have some, you know, data center infrastructure in Orlando as well, which will be running our exchange server and will also be yet more domain controllers. And then um, um, Ashley Bernard, aka Twilight Singer 3, she has two um, Dell Optiplexes uh, at her house, I do believe. I have a channel that has one of her Optiplexes on it where we, we were just kind of screwing around with it. But that's going to be running. Um, that's going to be yet another domain controller, which is going to be fun because we're going to be playing with load balancing. That's going to be awesome. Um, and PJ, I might definitely need your input on that because I've never configured that before in my life. So uh, we're going to be doing you know load balancing, and uh, we're going to get a nice look at Active Directory sites and services now, aren't we? Because you know how you can do different sites like in the same organization. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. We're going to be messing with that, and that's going to be so much fun. Um, and then as a Friday, we're going to have, I'll probably have another server room update down here uh, because we have some infrastructure uh, coming in. Uh, a friend of my father's is actually doing some infrastructure down here, um, more more uh, electrical, and then eventually we're going to have a, um, you know, uh, UPS, KVM switch, Ethernet switch. And like I mentioned before, there's probably going to be, well, I don't know that you can see it, but on the wall behind my monitor, there's probably going to be some shelves and things down there, so... Uh, we're going to be having a really good time and setting this stuff up. It's going to be pretty fun. So, yeah. <laughs> Are we still recording, I hope? Okay. Ooh, ooh, we could film that, too. Nice. So remember, the computer name is Delmeyer dash roman numeral 2 or is that going to be, or is that going to be as confusing as hell for you guys to type in when you're trying to SMB into it? Uh, no, I think that should be fine. Okay. Oh, and then after that, we got to see if we can get in the BIOS because um, that'd be fun to see if we can mess with the fan idle, turn it up a little bit. That was Michael's idea, by the way. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you, you guys should like go try to turn up the fan idle. <laughs> Freaking awesome though. What is that? The camera. Oh. Is it working? I'm just putting it back, back putting it back in case. <laughs> so where are we at now? Right down here. Inst um installing. Logging in, I think. Come on, Windows. You can do it. <laughs> now remember, I have that set of trip light speakers over there, so I can plug those in in order to um, install window eyes and they'll just work. I don't want the freaking external. No. Oh, shoot. Something else we forgot to look at. What? Uh, that custom sound card in there uh, that, that we put in there. Because you know how, like, Dell with their cars, they have, like, their custom catch thing that you yank on. And then you can kind of, you know, slide it out. I wonder if that sound card is the same way. I'll have to check it out. Oh, there we got something on the monitor, so what's happening now? We are going to configure the local server. This is going to be fun. So on the screen we've got configuring the local server, adding roles and features, add other servers to manage, and create a server group. Okay, this is where our screen readers come in. This is where I can get my window eyes disk and I can do the rest of this. Uh, I, you've already run through this once, right? What? This a setup like this, right? Oh, I've done this many times. Do you mind if I do it so I can get a feel for it? No, of course not. All right, cool. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to configure the local server. Because on the add other servers to manage, we're actually going to do that through Hesius. Do we have, we don't have a DC here present yet, do we? No. Okay. So this but, will be our first DC. But remember, we're, we're installing it under the, um, the... W, WSE. Right. Right, yeah, I know. I'm going to do all the basics first. But WSE enables ADDS and all right, that. Right, right. No, I'm doing all the basics, like, up. well, we can't do updates because we don't have a circuit down here yet. No. Um, maybe. No, I wonder if I can do something with Hesius, if I can somehow make... Unless, do you have a, a wireless USB card? Oh, you do? No, do you? No, I don't. Damn it. Shit, it really stinks. All right. Uh, Dell, Meyer, Yeah, M-E-Y-E-R, -E -E right. 
It's a Roman Jewish. Two. Yeah. Well, dash Roman numeral two because it looks ridiculous if we don't put the dash in there. Or does it not like the dash? No, it's fine. Okay. I just did it all caps. You oh. must restart your computer. Yeah, we know that. Woes. Uh, seems how we can't do any updates. Yeah, we'll restart. I'll do that later. Don't worry about it. I can do. I can handle the updates. Now the cool thing is I have that set of speakers that I can just plunk down here if ever I need local audio. They're actually plugged in. Oh, cool. Well, we're not going to hear anything because we don't have. Because you, oh shoot, you know what we forgot to do? We, whoops, we forgot to enable the audio service. Oopsie. Okay. Audio service? Yeah. The Windows audio service. Oops. That's disabled on servers by default. Um. But you, but no, you wouldn't have been aware of that because you don't use, you don't use a screen reader. So you probably, well, you don't use a screen reader or any sound cues or anything like that. So you probably don't give a hoot whether the audio is disabled. So I can kind of understand how you wouldn't have known that. Now, is this thing trying to go into stupid... It's going into system setup. We don't want to do that, do we? Fan idle? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. This time it's not going into the uh, the system services config. I don't know what the hell that was. That's probably... <laughs> yeah, because I'm sure I'm sure we can make this thing a, li a, little, bit, a little bit louder. I Just imagine. a wee bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just a wee bit. <laughs> I know. Thank, thank Michael for this, guys. Yeah, thank, thank Michael. Um, I'll put his name in the description or his channel in the description, like I said. Te in Dell Inc. MPT boot ROM successfully installed. Yeah, yeah, like we really care. Rodcom Nextstream Ethernet boot agent, fourteen point two point one copyright two thousand to two thousand ten. Rodcom Corporation. All rights reserved. Press Control S to configure the device. Mac address B. Not gonna read the rest. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Dell Serial ATA HCI AHCI BIOS version 1.1.0. All right, wait. Are we still rolling, or did the camera yeah. die? Port ports A, B, C, and D. No device found. Port E, H, L, D, T, S, T, D, V, D, ROM D, H, four, zero. Oh, you know why? That's probably because I don't have. Oh. E C to port. No device found. So that is cool that I have an eSATA. AHCI BIOS installed. Initializing remote access controller again. But what the heck? No, I don't know why it says remote access controller, because the only thing this has is a, a BMC. No, what I do know is if I install AMSA, I think I can remotely, like, reboot the computer and stuff like that. What the hell is AMSA? Uh, Dell Open Managed Server Administrator. But interestingly enough... Remember the whole IPMI issue in Cambridge as to keeping one ah, of the... here we go. Dell Inc. We are in the BIOS. That's weird, because that definitely looks like BIOS. It doesn't look like... It, it doesn't look like UEFI at all. It said we were in the BIOS. Oh. Now, some of them don't let you do the fan idle thing, but we'll see if this actually does. Fan power and performance management. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll turn it up a little bit. And actually, that was Michael's idea to, to benefit for cooling, because there's only one fan in that whole thing. I'm also thinking of sticking another fan in the um, in that extra five and a quarter inch bay in there. Minimum what? CPU power and performance management. System DBPM. Fan power and performance management. Minimum power, but I can't figure out how to change it. Uh, right arrow, maybe? Or tab? Hmm. Oh, jeez. Do we have another issue here with... You know, Hesius is doing the same thing. You can't... Like, you can't move around in the BIOS. I'll show you. Unless... I'm done with this. It's weird. I'll show you what Hesius does in the BIOS. In fact, that's actually worth videotaping. Because that's weird. Anyway. This is weird. What's going on? System time. It's one to ten. 
Oh, was the timing screwed up? No, I just... There we go. I screwed up the, uh... Doohickey. Be careful with the keyboard there, dude. What did it do to you? That might not be an editable setting. Yeah, so it might annoying. not be. It's definitely editable on the HPs. And I know that because Michael did that. He actually turned the fan yeah. idle up on his workstation. Oh, come on. Sorry, my phone's spouting off alerts. All right, well, I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll look at that. back in the server. Oh, that's fine, because, uh, you know what, I, I can always look up the fan idol thing later, so we can deal with that. Though I like what that fan sounds like, anyway. It sounds cool. Thank you, Siri. Although, it definitely is kind of quiet, don't you think? Yeah. Although it's louder than that, um... I kind of want to go on eBay and see if we can find the power out. Shoot, I wonder if I should go try to find the power supply for the camera. How's it looking? Uh, all right, configure local server. And then we're installing um, WSE, right? Which also yeah. installs IIS as well. Now, we're not going to be able to configure very much, remember, because we don't have... All right, so how, how's the tape looking? I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at the monitor in front of me. Okay. Uh, roles and features. Next. Role based feature based installation. Uh, we want, we, I or think. Or remote desktop services installation. We want role based feature based. Because that's for RDP. We're not, we're not doing, we're not doing it over. That's for RDP over terminal services. We're, we're not, we're not doing that. So we don't need that. Now it's so funny because in about. An hour and twenty minutes after you're leaving, I have to leave to go to Burlington myself. <laughs> so I have a crazy Select day. Select a server from the server pool. Which the only one is there, of course, is Delmeyer because he's the only one there. So Windows Server Essentials experience. Yep. Set this what we want. Add features that are required yeah. for no, Windows it's probably Server Essentials experience. Add features. I don't care. Just add them. No, no it's probably gonna. Now the problem is we're probably gonna get ourselves stuck in a pickle here because we don't have an internet connection, so we can't really configure anything. So what's it adding right now? What do you mean we can't configure anything? We can't do anything because a lot of it requires having the internet. We don't have internet down here yet. I just see you can install. Oh, oh, RP. I thought that said IRC. It's like what? What? There's an internal IRC server for Windows now. Okay. Well, that would actually be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool, but. Well, anyway. Why would you do that when you have Unreal? Oh well. Unreal, Unreal IRC for the win. Yeah, but that doesn't work on Windows, does it? It does. Oh. It does. Because as far as I know, you're not a Windows okay. hater. Okay, here we go. So what's it doing? Confirm installation selections. .NET Framework 4.5, yep. ASP.NET 4.5, WCF Services, HTTP activation. Yep. Branch Cache. Yep. File and Storage Services, File and iSCSI Services, Branch yep. Cache for Network Files. Yep. DFS Namespaces, yep. File Server. Group Policy Management, Remote Server Administration Tools. Role administration tools, file services tools, DFS management tools, remote access management tools, remote access module for Windows PowerShell, web server IIS management tools, IIS management console, web server application development, yep. ASP.NET 4.5, server side includes ISAPI extensions, ISAPI filters, .NET extensibility 4.5, yep. common HTTP features, default document, directory browsing, HTTP errors, static content. Yep. Health and diagnostics, HTTP logging and tracing. Yep. Performance, static content configuration and security. Mm hmm. 
basic authentication, request filtering, Windows authentication, Windows process activation service, configuration APIs, process model. Yep. Windows Server Backup, Windows Server Essentials Experience. Yep. That sounds right. I thought no. you said it was going to install ADDS. I think it does. Or, no, I think you, like, configure that, which we're not, like I said, we're not going to be able to do that because... You don't need uh, internet to, in, to configure ADDS. Oh, I thought you do. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll install Windowwise, eyes and I'll, and I'll do that if you want. How does that sound? I was just going to say, why don't we do SA? And I was like, oh, wait, that's right, we don't have net. Give it we don't have network. Yeah. So Delmeyer probably looks kind of... There's kinda... something else that we were going to look at. Oh, your printer. Yeah, right. printer. In that case, we'll be right back while this is installing. Are you going to stop the tape? Oh, and then you know what? I'm going to bring the power supply back. Wow, so I'm so glad we actually got something accomplished with the printer and we get this, so... Yeah. So now you know how to get the printer up. Well, yeah, yeah, and, and, and I also know how to do it on the network, too. And I know right. how to get it, because I, I know what you did. It's just you shut system access off, so I couldn't follow you. All right, so what's happening with this guy? All right, here we go. So we've got green across the board with the services that we um, installed. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to step three and do add other servers to manage. Which we don't have any the yet. The local computer is either not domain joined or it cannot access domain control. Your computer must be both joined to domain. Well, he's not a domain controller. Yet. We have right. to make him a domain controller. Crap. Hold I on. I thought that I? was installed as part of WAC. I thought so too, but that's weird. Notifications. Kelly, one notification. Two top. Three hours ago. Two top. Two top. Kelly. Two top. Two top. Sixty one minutes. Kelly top. Tuesday. Kelly top. So let's add roll. Yep. So wait. Now, okay. Roll base, feature base. Wait, real quick, real quick. Base. Before we do that, I think we should go into the the um, the WSE thing and see if there's anything we need to configure in there. Where is WSE? Windows Server. Ah. Yeah, go in there. Online performance counter is not started. Oh, Windows okay. activation not started. Not activated, rather. Why the hell does that say not activated? We because we're not, we haven't gone online. Oh. This still needs to go online. So, let's get ADDS up. Well, yeah, but, but doesn't that come through WSE? I'm pretty sure. I don't think it does. Configuration required for Windows Server Essentials Exp yeah, right there. We, yeah, we get right there, right there, right there. That's what we're gonna do. Checking your system configuration. And then we already have IIS, so I'll be able to put the website out, which will be awesome. Oh shoot! The one thing we forgot. Dang it! What? I can do it. I forgot to enable to have somebody enable port forwarding in the router. We can go back up into that before I leave. Okay, yeah, because it's disabled by freaking default. It's annoying as hell. Next. Create a network administrator account that you can perform management tasks. Mm hmm Administrator account name. Um, um Oh you know what? Just for the hell of it. We'll do We will be right back. I have to edit his name out because that wasn't very nice of me. I forgot the wrong. Alright, so as you guys hear, Catherine's just leaving to go grab her Windows as this. We just set up our um, domain administrator account. For, for Windows Server, it's installing stuff. It says it's 3% completed on preparing your server. So, and it's saying, please do not perform any operations that can change the configuration or turn it off. Okay. Where's the button? Here's the button. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Anyways, so... This is what we're dealing with. Does this go up? Yes, it does. Eh. Okay. 
ajudar-se. Let us not forget to turn the heater off. Oh shoot, now that now those speakers, you can plug those in now. They're already in. Okay. I had them in during installation. Oh, cool. How do we open oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's Windows 8.0. I prefer that because of the RDP actually. <sighs> I'm actually gonna configure. And I'm actually I'm not going to install this quite yet because it's doing preparing and it doesn't want us to change anything. What's it doing right now? Uh this is all the information that you need to provide. Your server is being prepared for use and may restart more than once. This may take up to 30 minutes. So at that yeah. point, folks, we'll be right back once again. Okay, due to the fact we didn't have a wireless connection, and then, um... It's kind of yeah. half-assed the WSC install. But that's all right, because I can configure it later, so it's not a... Right, right, PJ? Uh-huh. So yeah. we're just going to install window eyes. Oh, jeez. And I'm getting a four-square notification. I don't really care about it right now. Um, okay, so. You're not going to be able to open the dashboard until uh, the WSE install is complete. So. That's going to be fun. So, so it looks like Delmeyer is going to be sitting on his ass till Friday. Sitting here running, doing nothing till Friday. Because I don't. No, wanna... I'll make I'll make him do something after I install. A... <laughs> Actually. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? You'll find out after I install. Um. Oh my God! Do I even want to know? Oh jeez. See, the thing is, remember, it's not suspenseful for the sighted people watching, because they can see you. They really can't read what's on the screen. Oh. Welcome to the Window Eyes. Jesus Christ! Zero set of program. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me! The Window Eyes <laughs> installation process. All right, I'll take over Press here. Press S or enter to I'll run the install here. with... Please wait while the install is loaded with speech. Holy Christ! <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Dang you, Delmeyer, we're gonna kill you! <laughs> anyway. That scared the living shit out of me. Alright, fine. You can take over if you want. <sighs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. You're freaking hard to just press into arrest to start the installation with speech. Sorry. Welcome to a Windows Eyes setup. With window eyes, by the way. Window bullshit. Well, that's going on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that is going on YouTube. In fact, when we get done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like get all these videos off the Sony, and I'm gonna start. Oh, recording. <laughs> there we go. Now you can see both of us and the screen. Okay, nice. Wow, that was really funny. What? That. Not <laughs> scare the crap out of you. <laughs> and you know what? I don't care about the swears. That they're going launching temporary copy of Windows Eyes. So we're installing Windows um, Eyes 8.0 setup. Yes, Y button. Oh dear God. <laughs> yes, Y button. <laughs> yes, Y button. <laughs> oh my God. I'm saying oh my God because Sam's over there blowing up my phone with. Or square notifications, but I don't care. <laughs> and then now, oh yeah, now we can do RDP. RDP! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh man, this is gonna be my best video yet. What do you think? Yes. Ten. Window eyes 8.0, set of clocks, attention. Window eyes 8.0, set of clocks, attention. Left. Window eyes 8.0 setup. Restart computer now R button. Dialog quick setup com R. Now is that going to screw uh, up? Thank you for choosing the W micro on window eyes. Your quick installation of window eyes is now complete. Now by the 
Okay, seriously. You might as well just get some duct tape from the other side of the basement, because obviously I can't speak straight. <laughs> speak straight. Hmm. What's well, speaking left? Okay. Um. Copy left. So, all right. Oh so God, Adam! Adam, with that freaking copy left, copy right. Oh yeah. Open source is like no GNU GPL is not a copy left. figure out if I can fix the, if I can turn the fan idle up on Dillmeyer a little bit, because he is way too quiet. Don't you think? Yeah. Now, you see how that, that top bay is empty? That five and a quarter inch bay? They have other fan, they have like fans in there that you can schlep in there if you want. I might do that. I, I might well, you're not Jewish. Why are you speaking in Yiddish? I don't know. It's just a word I learned from somewhere. Sure, we turn the turn the uh, heater off when we get upstairs. I'm gonna make sure I put the speakers back and the desktop back. What do you mean? The jerry rig table we have. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. You probably you probably saw the sub down there too. The subwoofer. It's not over there. Oh, the yeah. receiver is. Unless the sub is in the box. Oh. We are... There we go. Oh wait, do I need to log in there? Oh crap, did we change the password yet? or do I need We to didn't change the local one yet. Oh. So obviously this guy's not going to be a domain controller until we can... Yet. ...get the... No, it's not going to be... Which is going yet. to happen Friday. <laughs> so... Two more days. Unable to what? Unable to set hook in process loading what address? What? Window eyes error. I'll update it. Window eyes installing default apps. Please wait. Just let it do it. Everybody. Today's tip deal of the documentation with next tip dialogue window eyes quick start wizard welcome to the window eyes quick start no, wizard. No, I'm gonna do this. This quick start wizard will let you set up some here. of your most common window eyes quick start wizard. Right window eyes quick start wizard. You can access this wizard at any time using the quick start menu option in the window eyes apps menu. Select the next button to begin. Bank cancel button next tip button next tip button. The cancel de talk access 32 with de de talk. Eloquency less. Back me next that button. Eloquence next that button. Can voice rate 30 of 20. 45. 64. Back D button. Next that button. Configure window server essentials. Next that button. Dialog window eyes. Quick start wizard punctuation. Punctuation settings. Effect when you're in window eyes is speaking. Tap through the following check. Cancel button. Matt symbols. Like plus. Dash. Slash. And star check box object. Space. Textual symbols. Like question. Period. And comma check box object. Miscellaneous symbols. Like dollar. Add. And quote check box object. Back D button. Next that button. Next step button, the cancel button, rail displays button, list box button, back D button, next step button, skip next step button, cancel, don't change my current settings, radio button, check 505, speak every keystroke as I type radio button, don't change, don't speak anything when I speak both keystrokes and words radio, don't speak anything when I type radio button, check 4, back D button, next step button, configure window server essentials, dialog window dash eyes, quick start wizard dash notification area, next step button, cancel button, show the window dash eyes icon to the notification area, out of the old dash tab with radio button, check 1 of 2, check show the window dash eyes icon to the notification area, out of the old dash tab with radio button, back D button, next step button, finish up button, dialog window dash cancel button, insert key left and not modify by existing, insert key left fair alternative layout utilizing the insert key right fair radio button, check 1 of 4, the phone left fair for use with full size keyboards right fair radio button, check 2 of 4, back D button, finish up button, configure close button, dialog window dash eyes, quick start wizard dash quick start complete, the quick start wizard is now complete, configure window server essentials, configure window server essentials window, results check button, link troubleshooting window server retry our button, cancel button, results check button, link troubleshooting window server essentials installation, cancel. Retry our button, cancel button, no end button, dialog confirm canceling wizard button, showing what the cancel is wizard, yes why button, default no end button, yes why button, server manager minimize, window dash eyes, tap, server manager, server manager, crap, that's dark, that's weird looking, configure his local server button, add roles and features button, add other servers to manage, create a server group button, hide button, ADDS button, manageability button, did that just say hide button? Hide. Uh. Wait. ADDS button. Why is there an ADDS link in here? Well, I'm not going to mess with that because. Manageability, the next button. Uh -huh. Services button. 
Oh, that was because we half-assed installed ADDS. We haven't configured AD. We need. We still need to do uh, DC promo. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. I think, as far as I know, I new think. Message connection with the new messages on your computer. I think WSE runs that for you. Server manager. Search box. Enter submit query. Best clear. Oh my God! Why is this so dark? Look? Desktop. Recycle bin selected. That's a weird. Oh my God! That's a weird looking. That's the default. Desktop. Very right. dark. It looks. What color would you call that? Looks kind of black. Oh. Looks kind of blackish, doesn't it? Char charcoal gray. Ooh, that's darker than uh, Windows Server. Wow. Windows Server 2K, it's more like silvery. And that's what the command line looks like, guys. In contrast with the gray background, geez, there's not much of a contrast, is there? No, there is. There's a decent bit of contrast. Oh, there's actually quite there's actually quite a bit of contrast. Never mind. Oh, let's see. Where am I? Volume zero number is sixty sixty dash two hundred forty by director of users administrator zero free slash eleven slash twenty fourteen one over the unless the third grader zero free slash eleven slash twenty fourteen one over the unless the third grader zero free slash eleven slash twenty four. Oh, okay, never mind. So that's just our. Dialog window dash I skip over the minimize. Hold on. Window dash I dash default on set. Task same setting test button. Uh. Setting screen close one of seven three same setting test button. Setting save. Save this. Dialog window dash I skip desktop window dash I skip next to that button. Press the key close button. Show tips at startup. Subject show today tips next to that button. Press the key close button. Desktop recycle bin selected list. Hold on, when do I start? Server manager, server manager, server manager. This PC unselected, free of AR3C1. Control panel unselected, 5 of AR5, desktop unselected. Uh, oops. Search page. Hold on. Search is kind of breaking. Unsell desktop, recycle, start menu, search, search box, search everywhere, enter submit. Window dash eyes, text manual app. Window dash eyes, app developer app. Window dash eyes, advanced map. Window dash eyes, basic map. Window dash eyes, window dash eyes, unsell window dash eyes. Window dash with window dash window dash window dash window dash eyes text manual window dash eyes but window dash eyes unselected. Hold on. Recycle bin unselected list new one. One more. Start menu. Server manager server manager room server manager unselected one of our one C one list new. Search box search everywhere enter submit query best clear box channel inbox virtual channel maintenance app. Right here. Cancel button unselected. Turn off enable secrets virtual channel support for window enable Microsoft virtual channel support for window dash eyes button. OK button. Turn off Microsoft virtual channel Microsoft virtual channel for window dash eyes has been enabled. Press enter to continue. Default OK button. Recycle bin unselected list new one. It's to make window eyes work with RDP without a sound card needing to be required in the server. Uh, Hence why I wanted to show Adam that because um, he needs to be aware of it. So, okay, so remind me, did we actually install ADDS? ADDS was installed, DC promo has not been run. Was AD, now, was ADDS installed along with um, WSE, or did you install it separately? I lost track of what happened. I sort of lost track of things, so... Things sort of after we rebooted after WSE, yeah, after the WSE install. Wait, did we actually do it, or did it just show up? I think it showed up. It showed up. Okay, so then what I need to do is I need to learn... I need to... Okay, so I'm thinking I should probably just shut this guy down, I would imagine. Because he's not really doing much. He can't do much until Friday. So. Well, you know, he can't, he can't do this. Hold on. Hold on. How do you kill, um. Um. You know ins uh, oh, crap. I think it's insert F4. This option requires show advanced options to be enabled in the load menu. Oh, wait. Shoot. Uh, not. Low battery. Low battery. Low battery. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> been ages. This option requires show advanced options to be enabled in the load menu. Just use a task manager because I don't remember how to do it. Task manager, list of items data grid. Desktop, recycle bin unselected, list new one of three. Where's the. How do you. I don't want to kill this, but I can't figure out how. Same setting test button. Dialog window dash I dash default dot set settings screen keyboard dust keys general braille devices default same setting test button. Oh, you know same setting test button. Dialog window dash I dash default dot set settings screen keyboard dust keys. How did you jump to search? What? How did you jump jump to search? There we go. No, you were doing something with the. Or what were you doing with the command line? That was interesting. Or it looked like you had the command line. Up. Window dash eyes. Settings. Desktop. Recycle bin unselected. Administrator's email system 32 cmd.h-t127.0.0.1. Administrator's email system 32. Reply for 127.0.0.1. I see equals 128. Reply for 128. 
Reply from 127.0.0.1 ICs equals 32 times less than 1 MSTP L equals 128. Reply from 127.0.0.1 ICs equals 32 times less than 1 MSTP L equals 128. Oh my god, what did you do? It's unknown. 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 It's unkn